The aerodynamics of the 992 GT3 Cup are a major step forward over the Porsche 991 GT3 Cup, starting from the front all the way to the back. This car features a much larger front splitter. It is a good four and a half, five inches long. It's got this metal cable here. It allows it to flex up, but not down, resulting in a lot less splitter damage. It is a big, important part to the car. However, it is easy to install, easy to remove. And if something happens on track, pulling into the pits, putting on a new one isn't a big challenge. And that's one of the things we really like about this car. Another innovation on the 992 GT3 Cup, this front hood vent here. Traditionally, there's been a hood vent for the radiator. This has two large free-flowing radiator ducts that release a lot of pressure from the top of this car, creating major downforce. This duct here is for the radiator as well. This is a side radiator, it's on each side of the car. This feeds directly into the wheel well and out, releasing a ton of pressure from the front end of the car. Moving to the back of the car, along the side, there's a set of side skirts that flare out near the rear wheel well. This allows the air that's coming underneath the car, trying to escape outside of it, to be held beneath it, creating a lot smoother and tighter airflow underneath the car. One of the biggest innovations for the 992 GT3 Cup is this large swan neck wing. You know, looking at a wing, you think the top of the surface is the most important, when in reality, the underside is where all the magic happens. This swan neck wing of the 992 GT3 Cup is a humongous innovation over the 991 GT3. This wing is larger, but it's also much cleaner air coming up beneath the wing itself. Standard, there is this gurney flap on the car. Traditionally, these are 3M taped on. This is hard mounted to the car. It's not very large, but it's very effective. The rear end of the car is dominated by this rear diffuser. It almost has long tail vibes from a 935. It starts way back beneath the engine and forward of the front axles, comes all the way back. It completes the entire width of the 992 GT3 Cup. These rear fender vents allow air to come from the rear wheel well, release out the back of the car, combined with air coming up from beneath the diffuser. The rear end of this car is a huge step forward from the 991 GT3, allowing the 992 GT3 Cup to be a significant aero advantage along with everything else over the previous generation cup car.